Hello, girls and boys. Mr. Vagela here, DT teacher. I hope you're all keeping really, really well. I hope you're all smiling and keeping your brains bubbling and active. Over the last couple of days, you've been blessed with some videos from loads of great staff members. And I just wanted to give you one as well. The kind of title of my video is, who is your role model? What I discovered a couple of years ago was, I still remember I had a conversation with, with, with one of you students and they were like to me, Mr. Vigela, who's your role model? And I was like, oh, that's a great question. I don't have the answer to that. It then prompted me to jump online and I started Googling like loads of people that had done amazing things. And I, I came across a young boy who four years ago became my role model and still is not to this day. He's about 20 years old now, if I'm not mistaken. He goes by the name of Moin Yunis. M-O-I-N-Y-O-U-N-I-S. You'll need that because I'm going to ask you to YouTube him later. So the reason this guy's my inspiration, when he was born, unfortunately, he was born with like this really, really rare skin disorder. And I, unfortunately, the doctor said that he wouldn't even make it to one. And now he's nearly 20. That alone in my opinion, that willpower, that determination is just unbelievable. Secondly, there is actually no cure for this skin disorder. So basically, like all of us, we have skin. We probably take it for granted. None of us wake up and think, I'm so happy I have skin because we don't, we've not gone through what he's gone through. But unfortunately, this boy, he's, he, he's born with loads of blisters all over his skin. And in some areas, unfortunately, he doesn't have any skin. So his life is completely different to ours. He's always in pain and he has to have steroids and he has a mum and a carer that dress him. It takes him six hours in the morning just to get ready. He doesn't even have the luxury of going to a normal school due to this this um, uh, this like sort of illness he has. So, you know, I just think firstly, I just felt so grateful for everything I had. But the reason he inspired me was because through all this pain and, and hurt that he went through, he's used his circumstance to motivate the world. Like... Um, he was nominated in 2017 for this award called the Pride of Britain Award. It's a very, very prestigious award that he was awarded. He's also a charity ambassador for Acorn Children's Hospice, which is such an amazing thing. And then lastly, I quote, he says, all I want to do is inspire the people around me to just be better and be grateful for what they have. And it got me thinking, there's loads of people in school who sometimes have down days or there's people who sometimes don't want to work because they're tired. And I think, look, when we look at someone like this, it just makes us want to work harder and be better. And, you know, for me, he inspired me to just want to be a better person myself and to, to, want, to, to want to help more people and just, you know, not complain. So this is really my, my role model. I want you to jump onto YouTube and I want you to watch some of the videos on Mo and Eunice. I think you guys will be really, really inspired by his story. There's some of him receiving the Pride of Britain Award. He's met some footballers. There's a video of his day-to-day -day life if you're interested to actually see how this guy lives. There's loads of documentaries on, on this guy. Um, he lives in a place called Birmingham in Wandsworth. So check him out. Mo and Eunice. Other than that, number two, I challenge all of you. While we've been... In this circumstance, I guess we can say we've been blessed with a lot of time on our hands. Jump on the internet and research and find someone who you want to call your role model. When you come back to school, you can share it with all of us members of staff, your form tutors. You can even come to some of my year 12 assemblies and share it with my year group. I think right now it's a great time to find someone who, is, who inspires us and motivates us. Because that's what we need. We need to share this more. I look forward to hearing who motivates you when we get back. I wish you all the best at this time, guys. Stay safe. Keep smiling. And, and that's it, really. Um, yeah. God bless. Mr. Vagela. Take care.